Hi, RT students. Um, just making a quick video here for you on perpendicular versus parallel. This tends to be a confusing uh, term for many students. So here to hopefully clear it up for you. When we're talking about parallel versus perpendicular, it could be in reference to anatomy or equipment, say central ray. Just a reminder, parallel means they're running in the same lines or in the same direction. Perpendicular, they're intersecting. Okay. And how does this line relate to your image receptor? So remember your image receptor is your plate, or if it's in the bucky, the central ray or the beam coming out of your tube, is it perpendicular to the plate? Or is it parallel? Or is it at an angle is what it's asking. Well, when your x-ray beam is pointed directly to a plate, whether it's to a tabletop plate, the table bucky, or to say a wall bucky, it is 90 degree angle and perpendicular. So if it makes a T shape, okay? So pointed directly at the bucky or at the table, uh, a receptor on the table would be perpendicular or 90 degrees to the IR. If there's a tube angle, it's no longer perpendicular. Um, if it's not shooting straight on with a zero tube angle, if say you're angling 15 cephalad for an AP sacrum, you are no longer perpendicular to the IR. Guess what? You can never be parallel. Your central ray and your um, image receptor cannot be going at the same direction because they're not gonna meet each other. So your tube and your IR, they can never be parallel. When it comes to anatomy, they're either perpendicular or parallel. So I gave this example. So your AP elbow, and if you know from procedures class, when you're in AP elbow, your humeral epicondyles, which are on either sides of your humerus, are parallel to the IR, right? So when you put the anatomy on the plate, Here's your epicondyles, and I tried to put a red line through the middle of your plate, and there's a little red sticker on the anatomy. They are parallel. They are running in the same plane over the plate. So if you remember, AP forearm, AP elbow, and AP humerus is all the same elbow position. When you're AP forearm, the Epicondyles, parallel to the IR. AP elbow, parallel to the IR. AP humerus, parallel to the AR. So APs, parallel. Even if we're doing lower extremity, say it's um, the knee, so femur condyles. AP tip fem, AP knee, AP femur. The femur condyles, all parallel to the IR. When your lateral, say lateral elbow is my example here, your epicondyles are now, are now perpendicular to the IR. Why? Because they're making a uh, letter T. They're intersecting. So if you draw a line from one epicondyle to the other, it's gonna point up and down because they're now superimposed. They're on top of each other. Well, that line compared to the plate of your receptor makes a T. So if you notice in this picture here where I have the red line going through the epicondyles, it is intersecting or making a T with the plate. Okay, it's now at a 90 degree angle. They're superimposed. So I think when you see the word superimposed, you should think perpendicular. And guess what? Lateral forearm, lateral elbow, lateral humerus. Epicondyles are superimposed. They're also perpendicular. For lower extremity, how about lateral tib fib, lateral knee, lateral femur? The femoral condyles, when they're superimposed, now perpendicular. Head work can sometimes be a little confusing. When we're doing, when we're lining up um, head work to say do a town's view of the skull, if you're using the OML, you tuck that patient's chin down to make the OML perpendicular to the IR. Why? Because it makes a T. If you draw a line across the OML, well, your receptor is going in this direction. 
So they're making a T. They are perpendicular to the IR. Lateral skull, it can have something parallel or it can have something perpendicular. Your central ray that has no tube angle is perpendicular to the IR. The interpupillary line, which I'm going to use my pencil here, between your pupils of your eye is perpendicular to the IR. But your mid-sagittal plane that is running in this direction is parallel to the IR. Your SMB skull, this one where they put the vertex of their head on the wall, Bucky. The IUML is parallel. So when we're kicked way back like this, as she is, you can see her IOML is running in this direction, parallel to the plate, but the central ray is coming in this direction, perpendicular, because it's making a T. And that's uh, the end, parallel, perpendicular. I hope it helps. Just remember, when in doubt, usually if the anatomy is in AP position, they um, are parallel. If they're in lateral position or superimposed, perpendicular. Think of your planes and for head work, your lines. Is it making a T or is it running in the same direction? Your equipment can never be parallel. Hope that was helpful.